What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first match preview of the season. It's Chelsea versus Leicester on Sunday. It's a 4.30 kickoff and Chelsea are looking to get their first win this season. But Leicester are also coming into this ground looking for their first win this season. They drew 0-0 to Wolves. Obviously they didn't have as bad of a first game as we did when we lost 4-0 to Manchester United. It's going to be a tough game. Leicester are a side that are looking to break into the top six this season. They've got a good group of players with a mix of experience and potential. And they're going to cause us problems, especially look at the way they play. They're a great counter-attacking side. And if you look at the way we played on Sunday against Manchester United we got exposed heavily on the counter-attack and they hit us so many times the threat of losing is there and Leicester are a team that can cause us a lot of problems if we go into that game the same way we did on Sunday but I don't think we will Frank Lampard reacted really well to that 4-0 loss he changed formations back into the 4-3-3 a formation that was very similar to Sarri's formation last season so it's something that the players really understood but they understood a lot more than the 4-2-3-1 because it was something that they used to it was drilled into their heads for all the last season so it made sense to go back to something that they understood after we tried to change formations and just got piped. We matched Liverpool. We matched Liverpool for many parts of the Super Cup on Wednesday. The changing formations helped us out a lot more. Christensen and Zuma are a lot more solid in defence. Kante, Jorginho and Kovacic complement each other so well. Kovacic and Kante being so press resistant and Kante improving so much in the final third after Mauricio Sarri and his training on him for the last year. And Jorginho complementing the pair of them as well with his wide range of passing. Pulisic, Giroud and Pedro kept asking questions of the defence as well. Asby, if we're going to be honest he was poor and he's been caught slipping at so many times over the last year and a half and there's been a lot of questions of whether he should be starting now and I personally don't think he should be starting I feel like he should be getting given a break but he's gonna have to start because Reese James is out injured and until Reese James comes back there's not really gonna be that competition for game time for him I don't want to throw Zappa Costa out there straight away but we've seen him when he's been playing he ain't really saying much I think Azpilicueta at least gives you some sort of experience, but let's be honest, Asby does need to improve. He hasn't got that same sharpness that he used to have about him. This is a guy who for five seasons is one of the best defenders in the league for us. Over the last year and a half, he doesn't look as quick as he used to be. He doesn't look as switched on as he used to be. Maybe if we put him back in centre-back, his experience might show there because he won't need to pace up and down that wing as he usually does on the right-hand side. But until Reese James comes back, there's not going to be that competition. So we are going to need to back Azpilicueta and we're going to need to just hope that his performances improve. We're unlucky to lose the Super Cup on penalties and it's annoying that we're starting the season with two defeats straight. But it is what it is. As long as we beat Leicester, then it don't matter. We just can't move on with three losses in a row because that's just going to cause more problems but I think if we play the same way that we played on Wednesday we should be able to cause Leicester problems we should be able to control them as well on the counter-attack we won't be as exposed as we used to be but I think there's a chance that we should be beating Leicester City it's going to be tough and Leicester are trying to break into the top six, but we should be beating them. Now, for my starting 11, it, there would be a lot of the same players from Wednesday. Kepa starts just straight up. I don't need to go into that. Azpilicueta will start, but he does need to be more sharper than he was on Wednesday because he got caught just being that second too late to anticipate runs. Well, we can't afford that to happen on Sunday. In centre-back, we'll go for Zuma and Andreas Christensen. Now, if Rudiger's fit, I'd rather he start because he's the best defender out of the three. But if not, let's go for these two. These two... Were exposed a lot on Sunday, but they improved a lot more on Wednesday. And when it comes to improvement like that, you want to see them build on it. So we start them again on we start them again on Sunday, and we just got to hope that they keep building on that performance that they had on Wednesday. Left back is another one that's just straight up. Emerson has to start. He's been one of the best players over the last two games. He's been so good defensively and going forward. He just has to start in midfield. It's the same three: Jorginho, Kante, and Kovacic. They complement each other brilliantly, like I said earlier. So they got to start again. Again. And on the wings, I'd change it up a little bit. I'd put Willian and Pulisic instead of Pedro. Again, if Willian's back, I'd rather he start. I want to see how he takes responsibility after being given the number 10 shot after Eden Hazard. And I also think we do need some fresh legs. Like, regards to how well we played on Wednesday, the whole team played 120 minutes. So there are going to need to be some changes if it, that can be done. And up front, we'll go for Tammy Abraham. Now, after the penalty miss, I'd like to see him start. I really feel like... He'd be hungry to make up for that miss. Not that he has to make up for anything. It's penalties. You you score some, you miss some. It happens. But I feel like for him, it would give him some closure if he played on Sunday and he got a couple of goals. He'd feel like he's closed the chapter on that because a racist abuse and all that was just fucking stupid and it's just 
dickheads on Twitter with fucking football abbies that can't really show their face. I would never really say that to a black man to their face. It's bullshit. It's always the same old shit that always happens and it's dickheads like this that fucking ruin our club's name. Same old bullshit with the fans calling Salah a back in April. Same thing with the Man with the Sterling incident when we faced Man City in December. Going back to Paris in 2015 and going even further back to that. Same old bullshit happens and it's these same dickhead fans that are trying to ruin our club's name. But the one good thing is that our club's clamping down on it a lot more. The abuse for him was fucking bullshit and I know Tammy Abraham is, is not going to take that lightly. He's just going to go in one ear and back out the other and he's going to be focused on the next game. He's got support from the whole footballing world. I don't think this is something that's really going to hold him down and this is why I want to see him play on Sunday because I think after all that's happened this week he's going to want to go out there and make an instant name for himself and I think if you put him out there on Sunday he's going to be hungry as to prove everyone wrong so I want to see Tammy Abraham go up front it's going to be an interesting game I'm not going to put a score prediction out because I still don't know how I still don't know the full capabilities of this squad I want to see how they play for a couple of games before I really start judging the team in general. But I think this team's capable of getting a win. It's going to be a tough game. It could go either way. You guys let me know your score predictions down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about anything I said. Do you agree or disagree with anything I've said? Let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G as well. And I'll see you guys on Sunday for the game. Let's hope we get a win.